Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and UV rotation in Godot 3. If you haven't watched the previous videos on visual shaders, I recommend that you check those out first. So the first thing we're going to need is a UV input. And then next, we need a scalar constant. This scalar is going to represent where we want our textures to rotate from. And in our case, we want this to rotate around the center of the UVs. Looking at a set of UVs in Maya, you can see on the grid where it starts at 0, and as it moves along the x, it goes to 1. And as it moves along the y, it also goes to 1. And if we want it to rotate around the center, we want it to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then the last thing we need is a scalar uniform. This is going to be our degrees of rotation. We'll come back to the degrees in a moment. To center our UV rotation, we want to subtract our scalar from our UV input. So we'll right click and we'll do a vector op. And here we want to change this to subtract. And we'll plug these in. Then next, we want to vector decompose. So we can split out the X and the Y. Now we need to look at the degrees. So we want to right click and we want to look for a scalar function. And in here on the drop down, we're looking for radians. This is a form of degrees. If you don't have this, as you increase your value on the scalar uniform, it won't actually line up with normal degrees of rotation. Next, we need two more scalar functions. I'm gonna copy this one and paste twice. And on the top one, we want cosine. And the bottom one, we want sine. And then we'll plug the radians into the cosine and into the sine. So this is where it may get a little more complicated or a little confusing. We wanna make four scalar multiplies. So on the UV section, we're gonna plug the x into the top multiply, and we're gonna plug the x into the bottom, and the y is gonna go into the top input of the middle two multiplies. The cosine is it gonna go into the first and into the third one, and the sine is gonna go into the second and the fourth one. From here, we need two more scalar ops. These are gonna end up being your x and your y, or your u and your v. This top one we want to add, and this bottom one we want to subtract. We'll take these top two and plug them in, and we'll take these bottom two and we'll plug them into here. Now we could recompose these and just plug this into the UVs and it would rotate just fine, but because of our initial scalar offset, our texture would be offset as well. So we need to re-offset them. So we'll add two more scalar ops and we'll set them to add. And within each one of these, we want to add 0 0.5. And now we can recompose these with a vector compose. We'll plug the top one into X and the bottom one into Y, and then we'll plug this into our UVs. And now we can take a look at our shader parameters and our material. All right guys, this setup is one of many different ways that you can use to rotate textures, but this version works just fine. If you wanted to make this a little more efficient, you could take it all and put it into the vertex shader. And if you wanna keep it in the fragment shader, you just wanna make sure that you plug this vector compose into all of your UVs for your textures. All right guys, this covers visual shaders and UV rotation. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.